pages. Where, where are you spending the most time at right now? Though? How many? I guess before I agree, how many different places are you uh, so far in fall camp? Three or four. Uh, you know, we'll hit that five mark eventually, I'd assume. But just working everywhere, pride myself in versatility. You know, um, left tackle, right tackle, left guard, center, everywhere. Just so we're up in the versatility, being ready to go anywhere. First performances you haven't played so far in camp. I uh, haven't played center or right guard yet in camp, but the other three so. Uh, it is at times for me. Um, just pride myself in versatility, knowing the offense. Uh, it's not really mentally taxing. Sometimes it does get phys physically taxing. Just having to switch your technique up, fundamentals and stuff. Uh, footwork's completely different at, at both. And there's completely different players at all those on the other side too. Um, inside you got. Big O, Omar, you got Big E, and then outside you're going against James, Josh Josephs, those guys. So um, it does get physically taxing sometimes. I wouldn't say mentally taxing. Why is having that versatility so impactful, so important as an offensive lineman? Uh, just, you know, knowing everybody's job uh, makes your job a lot easier. If you only know your job, but you don't know what everybody else is doing, uh, something changes when the ball snap, makes it harder on yourself as an offensive lineman to be able to adjust to that. And I feel like knowing the offense, knowing everybody's position, knowing what they're doing, if something happens, makes your job a lot easier. Then you've seen and gone up against a lot of D-lines in your time in Tennessee. How good is this group you're going up against? Stacked, man. Uh, I don't know of a better word to say about them. Uh, too deep. There's not a big drop-off like you do. You know, in the SEC, a lot of teams you play, if a guy gets hurt, it's a big drop-off behind them. But, uh, man, these guys can roll one, two deep, three deep at some positions. Uh, just really looking forward to their season and how they do and you know how they're holding us up, too. Super smart guy, super smart guy. Uh, really happy for him. Was obviously super good friends with him. Me and him came in together as a walk-on here uh, when we got here. So uh, just being able to see him flip over as a coach and uh, succeed in that, uh, super happy for him and glad to have him in the room to, you know, Teach those young guys, but also when us old guys kind of slip up and forget something minute, he's there to he's there to tell us for a moment. So, it's been great. What is Shan? Super strong hands, super strong lower body. Um, man, he's been grinding every day in fall camp. Just been going as hard as he can and uh, getting better every day. What have you seen from Cooper in terms of his commitment to developing the guys who are coming up behind him? Uh, he's been he's been awesome. He's always in Bison's ear, always in Sats ear in the meeting room. You know, uh, just giving them technique. Uh, pointers, giving them fundamental stuff, uh, you know, calls. We get weird looks on third down. He's telling them, you know, this is the call and this is why, not just saying, hey, this is the call, and then they don't know why. You know, just giving them the background as to why the call is what it is. Talk to uh, Ben Warren the other day. Yeah, uh, super strong kid. Uh, has a lot of fundamentals that you don't see in a young kid when he comes in. Um, he's able to get off the ball, super twitchy guy. Um, you know, still got to work on his fundamentals. I'm trying to help him as much as I can every day. So, uh, it'll be good. It'll be good. What's the confidence level or vibe of the offensive group right now? Man, just uh, playing snap to whistle as hard as we can. Uh, we track loafs during practice, and we've been really harping on lately, cutting those loafs out. And that's playing from snap to the echo of the whistle, not just, you know, playing the whole play as hard as you can, sacrificing your body on the line for another guy beside you. And I feel like that's what the motto of this whole line is. What's the threshold for loafs? Like, do you kind of slow down a second before? The yeah, uh, it's 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 anything that we don't see as something that we uphold ourselves to in the line room. So if we see a guy loafing, the guy, you know, misses a block if if he's not trying to put hands on another person. Like if he's just giving up, you know, giving a good old fashioned <laughs> clap, man, uh, that's loafing. We just feel like playing echo to the echo of the whistle is what the motto is. And if you're not doing that, it's what we consider a loaf. So, and the standard is that it's zero a day. So um, one is way too many. Do you feel like left guard, left guard is the position you can have the most impact at just because it's not a returning starter there necessarily? I, I feel like I have an impact anywhere. Um, you know, wherever I'm called at is where I want to go play. So, um, you know, the five that are out there, we're going to go play, like I said, to the echo of the whistle and uh, put our body on the line for the guy behind me. Tyler Bree says that there's pretty much open competition, you know, up and down the line. How has that, you know, pushed the group forward and especially the older guys? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, senior experience there. There's, there's eight guys that have played a lot of football together, which is good to have in an offensive line room. Um, and then there's a lot of young talent coming in, too, and those guys are working hard. So I feel like we're all meshing well together. Everybody's playing as hard as they can, you know, trying to get on the field. So.
Appreciate it. Thank you.